My name is Heather Dix, and I'm a PhD candidate at Memorial University. I'm here to tell you about a shirk funded project I'm working on under the mentorship of Dr. Liam Swiss and Dr. Lisa Kaida, entitled Immigrant Remittances and Foreign Aid. As a global community, we recognize that there is a tremendous amount of inequality in our world. In an effort to correct this, developed or high-income countries spend billions of dollars each year in the form of foreign aid, which is meant to go to those countries most in need and help fill development gaps. Over the last few decades, though, there has been another global financial flow that has generated a lot of interest among people involved in international development. I'm talking about remittances. Essentially, remittances represent the money that immigrants living in a host community send to friends and family, normally back in their home communities. And we're talking about a lot of money here. In 2021, global remittances were over three times the amount of total foreign aid. With this in mind, people in the field of development have pointed to remittances as a new source of development finance, saying that it can serve as a complement to or even a substitute for foreign aid. This has fueled a global call to reduce the transaction costs associated with remittances, which has been captured within the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. For our research project, we wanted to dive into an investigation of the relationships that may exist between foreign aid and remittances. And the first thing we wanted to ask is, quite simply, whether these two international flows are in fact related. Given the narrative around remittances as a new form of development finance, we would expect these two flows to be closely related. To our surprise, however, this was not what we found. Rather, these resources seem to move independent of one another. And in fact, it doesn't look like the development needs of other countries is what is driving remittances. What we found is that remittance sending has much more to do with the person sending the money. The biggest thing our research has told us is that those that are new to Canada and are doing well economically are more likely to remit and will remit more than those falling outside of these categories. The Canadian government is currently just looking at reducing transaction costs of remittances and assuming this will have a strong development impact. Our research suggests that this goal is off the mark. Canada needs to shift its focus from remittances to remitters. Our research shows that development policies around remittances need to come together with migration-related policies if we ever wish to see these resource flows truly make a difference in global development.